Golf Ham, I'm just gonna say it. I was gonna get a clip inside the truck here and tell you a few things on my way to go get these wheels and tires, but the lighting is horrible. I'll catch you guys back at the house. So we have the truck back. We have the new wheels and tires in the bed. We're gonna be running some Venom Powers in some Anthem equalizers. Let's get them mounted up. <laughs> Well, here it is in the daylight. We got the new wheels and tires on the 0124 valve that we are giving away to one of you, by the way. I would just like this to be known. The truck has not done yet, okay? So I know I get comments about the bumper, I get comments about the body lift and stuff like that. The truck's not done yet. And I just want you guys to keep that in mind when you see this thing. It is progressing. It is getting cooler and better by the day. That's my opinion. And I think it's a great looking truck and I think it's a solid truck, but it's not done yet. You just gotta kind of trust the process and see it as it goes because it is gonna get cooler, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get nicer. It's a stud truck right now, and believe it or not, these wheels and tires clear on this three inch body lift. Very impressively, I'm actually really surprised, but we are gonna be ditching the body lift as soon as our lift kit shows up, which should be here today, actually. It'll be very soon, and that lift is going to be swapped out with a five inch suspension lift. It's gonna look way better. Bumper is also going. So be patient, it is happening. Things are just all delayed with shipping and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys can understand there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. It's not all within my control. I hope you guys like it. These wheels are 22 by 14 Anthem equalizers. It's a negative 76 offset, okay? And I went with a Venom Power Terra Hunter XT 35 by 1350 R22. And so what that's gonna do is that 13 and a half pretty much brings that tire to sit flush with the rim. And it's not like a bunch of extra meaty sidewall, but it is just enough to where when you look down the side of the truck, you go from here to there, the tire actually sticks out just a feathering more than the rim. It's very close, pretty darn flush with the rim but you're not gonna look down the side of the truck and see like a half inch of rim like hanging out past the tire. Some guys like to put the 12 and a half wide tires on 14 wide wheels. I think it looks completely stupid. I mean, I've done it before, but I think it looks stupid and I wouldn't do it again. And not to mention like the curb rash that takes place is just unbelievable. We're going to be getting the Cadillac hooked up to the 20 foot trailer and towing the Jeep to our property to do a little bit of mudding. And by the way, there's just over two weeks left to enter to win that truck. So if you wanna get those entries, go to lmpgear.com, place an order of anything on the site and you're automatically entered to win that truck, plus five grand. Giveaway ends on February 15th. I'll let you guys see the whole setup. Yeah. Let's get on the road. I've been on the trail for a total of, I don't know, 30 feet. <laughs> Starts right there. And I'm already pretty much stuck. Currently I'm not moving, but I'm gonna set my camera up and hopefully I can pull this thing out without needing to go back and get the tractor. plan for this video is my sister and my soon-to-be uh, brother-in-law we're gonna be coming over here and I was gonna let them drive the Jeep you know and get them driving it around get their reactions and get my reaction of them driving this thing and basically doing stuff like that um, but me just kind of being a spectator and catching it on video just to see what they do my sister's never mudded really in anything before so I thought it would be interesting to see how she would handle mudding in a situation like that in a vehicle like this 
with him as a co-pilot and uh, me just kind of like sitting back and watching and seeing how it plays out. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's kind of an idea that I thought, well, let's shoot, let's just try it. Could be funny. I was like, just you know, go through. You don't need to go too fast. And he just freaking hammers it. Oh no. My poor Jeep. Dude, I'm like scared for my life right now. I was too. I was like, he's literally gonna destroy this thing the first drive. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were buckling. Six, seven hundred yards. Yeah, I would. we drive. Gosh. Bro, oh my gosh. Dude, I will be so shocked if you don't break so many things on this. <laughs> Do not. Do not. Okay. 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 We're good. Okay. I keep ducking my head when I see branch. Because <laughs> I'm used to mudding on four wheelers. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> so is this where we let the female take over? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, did you say this was a sketchy spot? No, he just went through the sketchy spot. Dude, check out my you new put tattoo, my bro. Pack. Dude! Dude, I got it finished. It was the most painful two and a half hours of my life. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you don't have to go as fast as him, but just. Which way do you want me to go? Left. And it's supposed to sound like that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so scared right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I really don't care about it, but oh my goodness. I'm going to smack my head on the ceiling. I think you should gun it here. Just get it over. Oh, Holy yeah. crap! Keep going, keep going! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that was where exhilarating. am I supposed to go now? There's definitely still a log Where's underneath of here. Oh, it's a log. Oh, you got it? I got it. Oh. <laughs> This is not my idea. Was that was it worth the experience? Uh, it was. It was the second time when I <laughs> caught some air. It's a little scary. <laughs>
We don't have reverse anymore. Put in reverse. It's in reverse. It's in neutral. It's in drive. It's in second. I wasn't expecting you to get on it, honestly. On left here. Yes, turn left. She's a little rough. This will roll, just oh so you know. <laughs> this, this thing will roll over. <laughs> You're so smart. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> At least you turn your turning signal on. Yes. New record. I win. <laughs> it took him a minute and 56 seconds to cover what? 800 yards on the trails. We can do it again. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> well, fam, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win that 0124 valve comes that we just put those new wheels on, your time is running out. The giveaway ends on February 15th. All you have to do to enter to win that truck is go to lmpgear.com, select anything off the store, purchase it, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered and you are in the drawing. By the way, there's a lot of people that have asked, do I have to have an Amazon Pay account to check out with Amazon Pay? Do I have to have a PayPal account to check out with PayPal? Because those are the payment providers that we use. To use PayPal, you do not need any kind of account. Amazon Pay, I'm not sure, but I know for PayPal, if you just continue through the checkout process like you would normally, it gives you the option to check out with account or check out as a guest, and you can check out just like you would ordinarily on any other website, and you don't need to have any kind of PayPal accounts or anything like that. Um, take advantage of this giveaway. Get in while you can. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.